Welcome back to the 2015-2016 Candidates Forum. It is my pleasure to introduce the candidates for Vice President for Student Government. For Administrative Affairs, Ms. Avelia Ibarra. For Academic Affairs, Ms. Shade Evans. And for Student Affairs, Ms. Tamia Johnson. Welcome candidates. We'll follow the same format as we did with the previous candidates. Mr. Holloway, we'll start with you. My question is for all the Vice President candidates. In your own words, describe the responsibilities of the SJ Vice President position that you are running for. What skills or qualifications do you have that ensure SJ runs smoothly and successfully? Ms. Ibarra. To ensure that SGA is communi communicating thoroughly, in my role as Vice President for Administrative Affairs, I will ensure that communication is thought out thoroughly to my constituents. I will also make sure that they're well informed and by using my role that I'm currently in now, I will make sure that you know all students are informed and all, um, in all locations of the campus. Ms. Evans. Um, well, for SJ Vice President for Academic Affairs, I think, uh, firstly, we should have a, I should have a positive mindset, and uh, hopefully that will be reciprocated to the student body. And that uh, I believe that having a positive mindset uh, opens a lot of doors for you. And that uh, if I'm able to communicate with the student body and really get them to tell me what's the problem with academics and what's preventing them from doing well, that I'll be able to communicate it to the academic council and really make changes and help them to get these opportunities at school. Ms. Johnson? Well, following the, the lead of the current Vice President of Student Affairs, Ms. Ibarra, I will follow her footsteps to make sure that our town halls are planned efficiently, that our evening students, our weekend students, as well as our extension center students all have their voices heard. We will continue the town halls like the one we had at UTC this, for this semester, as well as looking to expanding to other extension centers, as well as I've had the pleasure of working with some weekend students while I'm working downstairs in College Life Services. So I know some of their concerns are they may feel a little bit left out, so maybe having more, a little bit more events planned in the evening to dedicate to them as well. Thank you, candidates. Ms. Alfuegbo, your my question. Qu my question is for all the candidates. What are some of the issues or concerns that students have expressed to you, and what solution do you think you can reasonably achieve within the authority of your office to address one or more of those issues? Ms. Johnson. Well, currently, as I serve as a director of club relations, some issues that have come up are the budget cuts and the tuition increases. Not that we as me as the vice president can stop them but I can go out of my way to make sure that we're more informed as to the reasoning why these things are happening so maybe at the town hall meetings we could host a little session so that people will know that well this is why this certain issue is happening and this is what we can do as a college community to correct it thank you Ms. Evans well uh, for academic affairs uh, basically I always think that communication is a, a problem at school, even though it's getting better now, like from last year, the SJ position. I think that uh, communication is getting better, but it's not at its best. So I'd like to really communicate uh, with the student body. And uh, like uh, Tamia said, that uh, through town hall meeting, send out surveys just to know what the problems are going on, whether Online, cor online courses or um, developmental courses, whatever is uh, bothering them from really doing well, I'd want to hear that from them and be friendly and have, a, have conversations with them and so that they're not afraid to come to me and really talk to me and express all their concerns. Ms. Ibarra? Again, some of the issues that our constituents are concerned with is communication, making sure that our students are informed of what's going on, by to improve that method of communication, going up to them one by one, making sure they're being heard, 
also as well as budget cuts and tuition increase, making sure our students are informed of what's going on and making sure they're aware by having transparency. Thank you, candidates. That concludes the questions for this segment. We will give you each a, close, a minute to do a closing statement. Ms. Evans. Hi, hello, good afternoon. My name is Shadia Evans and I'm running for SJ Vice President for Academic Affairs. And uh, as I said earlier, I want to spread a, a positive mindset to the student body and really get them to do well academically and uh, let the doors open for them with all types of opportunities. And I want you to believe in me that I will be your voice and uh, really talk to the academic council and try and ensure that your ac academic concerns are adequately dealt with. Thank you. Ms. Good afternoon. As student vice president for administrative affairs, I will make sure that communication is thoroughly thought out to our constituents, make sure that we're transparent, as well as being an effective team to make sure all issues are being dealt with as best as we can, so all our students are well informed. Thank you. Ms. Johnson. Well, hello everyone. My name is Tamia Johnson, and I'm running for Vice President of Student Affairs. If you want a campaign that is moving forward, effectively changing your environment and taking charge for a step in the right directions, please vote MET. MET stands for Marcel, Evelia, and Tamia. Thank you. Thank you, candidates. On behalf of the Elections Committee, we appreciate you appearing today and having a conversation with us. We'd like to encourage all the students at Prince George's Community College to vote April 20th through the 24th by logging on to my PGC and clicking on the student election icon to cast your vote. We'll take a break and we'll be back. We'll have additional candidates. Thank you.